Okay, both of them are pretty even right now. This was actually a pretty good slam mana. Good. Lots of upsets and lots of very hype games, honestly. A lot of people get like upset in very cringe fashion. So man, some pretty, pretty solid upsets this time. Very interesting. I feel like Louis, Louis got a lot more angles than I thought. Like before and had. Okay, but we gotta take game one with a. I mean, I wouldn't say it's convincing, but he had most of the control of the game. I never really thought that he was playing from the back. I, I wouldn't assume that he was losing that. Mui with just the most like calculated approaches. I feel like he's he's putting on so much pressure, but I feel like he's not moving anywhere where you could, can kind of punish him for it. Ooh, great forward air over here, but he's gonna get the gimp. No, because Mui just has every angle on deck. I mean, a lot of the times it's his only option, but his ability to consistently be aware of where he can and can't be is really impressive. So honestly, she's one of the most considerate like players of that kind of stuff that I've seen. Great backer, and Jigglypuff really just explodes in this match. I would say this is probably in Corrin's favor, but I'm, it's more because Mui's making it look like that, not because I, it probably actually is. I mean, just look at his spacing right now. He knows where Ryuka wants to be, and like, is not giving him anything because he saved his jump right now. He's gonna make it back to stage. Well, I wonder if he was trying to trade over there. I mean, look at the amount of times Jigglypuff has gotten uh, Corrin off stage and been unable to do anything about it. That early up he is going to get Mui punished, but like, given the amount of times he stared death down in the face and said no, I'd say that's still a pretty impressive track record. And if Yuka makes a single error, like, Corrin up, he's fast enough, active enough, and big enough that, like, there's really nothing he can do about it. He, it's it actually, he's kind of forcing Yuka to pick the right places and making the edge guard situation more on, like, Yuka's, um... Metal stack than his own. Oh, but he's gonna get gimped this time. We died at like 30. That killed? Yeah, that did kill. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that killed? <laughs> You're not wrong. Dude, it feels so tough play, like mentally playing against Puff because like the way you die at 30, like you don't die to it's a combo. <laughs> it's, it's like you slowly you watch drift. yourself die. Yeah, your jump gets stolen, you slowly drift in the blast zone. And it's Maybe your jump tough. gets stolen. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that being said, I feel like Mui hasn't let you get hold the lead for very long, and he was also in the lead in the beginning. Because neutral's got to be terrible for, for Jigglypuff. And he's been saving his jump super well, and the mix-up is crazy. Unfortunately, I don't think he can use pin as much as he'd like to, which makes the kills mostly just like up air off the top. Yeah. So there's not a lot of move variety for Mui that you can really go for. In neutral, or just like when he just can't, like catches him in neutral with upper and kills him, and it can't really pin it out of combos either. Because Puff is like light, so she just goes up instead of going down. So you can't pin afterward. I see. And Puff likes to jump a lot, so you're not going to really get grounded pin a lot either. Yeah. And it's thin. <laughs> Try to go for crazy read back there. 
Oh my god, what a weird option for me to get off ledge, but it worked. <laughs> They're just dancing around each other right now, and I'm making sure, because I both of them are in kill percent right now. So oh yeah, giving up stage control. This might be really rough for, for Mui. Is he checkmated? No, goes high. Oh my goodness. But then you could force to get back stage control to Mui in the forward smash and he's gonna go under it! Dude, did he just dock? I think he... Dude, wait, I don't know what happened! I think he just held it too long, like... And Jigglypuff's, like, animation was crouched underneath it. Yeah, because I think he was holding down out of it and SD hang down and he just ended up crouching under one hit. And then he spot dodged the, the, the final hit. Yeah. That was wild. 148 though. That was pretty crazy. Just holding it. He angled it. Who died? Oh, oh Jiggly Fox Lighter. <laughs> oh, oh, that's wow. tough. That's I, tough. I don't know if that kills corn there. I think it does. But it looked close. It was and Jiggly Fox. Yeah. Definitely, like he was definitely dying. Yeah, because he he was at like 120. Yeah, Jiggly Puff Omega died. Yeah. No, he no. Corn was at like 150. I think that did kill. Jigglypuff was yeah. like at 100, and like 20 maybe. I think both of them would have killed each other. I think Jigglypuff is just light. That's really crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's that wild. That's actually crazy. Because Corrin was at 147.7. Losers finals. Who's in winners? Cypher. Cypher, yeah. Cypher has been, has been playing crazy. He's been playing a lot greedier than I'm, than I'm used to, but he's been making it work. Get this early percent drill, but Mui's really good at climbing down a percent lead. <laughs> He's just standing in place and like just spotting him out like a fly. Oh, no, no. He held it really long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And at long range, there's really not anything Puff can do to play footsies with Corrin. I'm really interested to see how Yuki gets in on this matchup. Oh, oh. did he save his job? He did oh. save his job! Yeah. But he didn't tag. I wouldn't attack that either. Nah, I wouldn't attack. Oh, Jigglypuff. And Corrin with pretty solid out of shield too, just because a lot of the problem with out of shield and Jigglypuff is you don't know where she's going to be afterward, but that air just kind of covers everything. Okay, jab, jab, combo, oh, forward air. Yeah, it's new after the patch. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, how did he not hit? Yeah, that was weird. Did he invincibility through it? I think, like, the way pin works is it starts making a hitbox, and then when it touches the ground, it stops the hit. Like, it cancels the attack part. So it has, like, no so, active frames. Like, it, it missed because it hit the ground, yeah. But, like, it would have gone longer if there were no ground. And it would have yeah. hit shield. <laughs> okay. Right. Bowie locking in right now. Getting a lot of percent off of this left. Get, Bowie works so well with stage control. I feel like that's what this matchup has, like, come down to. If they're in, like, the center stage, then Yuki can kind of do a lot to... Force Corrin to land with an aerial or something like that, but if you get to the corner, you can't drift back at all. Ooh, beautiful pin. Airing through that is insane. You get us like immaculate. Even so, yeah. there's really not much you can do about the Corrin. Like, he's been countering every single one of like Corrin's bullshit things, and like even still, it just feels like he's in the driver's seat the whole time. Yeah, they both play so careful around each other. <laughs> yeah. In general, but in particular, UK, because he has to. But Mui, like, yeah, just trying to like zone and like safely pressure with like kicks, pins, and roll. You know, he's rolling away and just trying to like disengage, get his space back. Because that's where really what Jigglypuff needs is a lack yeah. of space to get in, bro. And like. The range from which, like, Jigglypuff can threaten Corrin is the range from which Corrin can just punish Jigglypuff if she misses. Like, yeah. it's really easy to force Jigglypuff to just be in a situation where you can hit her and not the other way around. Especially, yeah. I guess, Corrin right now. And, like, like, Jigglypuff just has to respect that shield pressure, too, because she doesn't have an outer shield. Oh. Great back over there. Almost did. Oh, yeah, Mui's a full stock. Oh, yeah, oh it's over. Wow, just Holy clean shit. by Mui. Oh, that, that was Mui. wild. He got 